Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a review of this little kind of toothbrush spoon looking makeup brush and this is the brush that has been like so hyped up I always see it on Instagram when people are doing like their contouring and like buffing in their foundation and I think like Kylie Jenner's makeup artist uses a brush like this obviously probably not this exact one because this one cost me three pounds on eBay um, but they do the exact same one from 99p on eBay if you get it from China but because I wanted to make this video for you guys I went and got it from a site that was selling it in the UK Okay, um, so I will link the seller down below that I got it from. So the first thing that I want to kind of say about this brush is it's very, very soft. Um, but it's very, very dense as well. The only problem is it looks like it's going to be a bit small. So like I imagine it's going to take quite a while to do my foundation. But we'll give it a go. So what I've done is I've done my eye makeup and my eyebrows. And then I basically just wiped off the foundation that was already on my face. Um, and then I've moisturised and I'm going to just apply my foundation using this. So the foundation that I'm going to use is my Rimmel Match Perfection. Which is one of my favourite foundations. I wear this on basically a daily basis. So I'm just going to put some of this on the back of my hand I normally just do one pump so I'm then just gonna take the brush and see what happens I'm not really sure if I should do it in kind of swirling motions or if I should kind of pat it first um, so on this side I'm just gonna kind of no that seems to be moving it around too much I feel like it's working better if you kind of stipple it a bit and later on I am going to try doing some cream contouring with this brush so we'll see how it works for that kind of thing as well and it is definitely taking longer than my normal foundation brush because it's so kind of tiny and you have to work in small sections. Okay so that is one layer of foundation done and to be honest I feel like it did a pretty good job. There doesn't seem to be that much kind of product still left on the brush. I would say that maybe it's a slightly lighter coverage than I would normally get by just kind of stippling on with my normal foundation brush but it hasn't left like any streaks on my face. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, but yeah so far so good. So I'm now going to apply my concealer. Okay, so I have a feeling it's going to be quite difficult to kind of get under your eyes with this. Again, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. I find it kind of works best if you stipple it a bit and then kind of do short little kind of dragging motions. I feel like that looks good, actually, and it's provided me with like good coverage and everything. Again, that actually worked really well. Um, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this little brush. I basically got these two concealers. I have a lighter one and a dark one. And I'm going to use a bit of the light one under my eyes just to kind of brighten them a little bit more. And I'm also going to use this down the kind of centre of my nose. Okay, so the final stage is doing my kind of cream contour using my concealer in the darker shade. I'm just going to do a tiny bit down my nose. So now that I've done the rest of my makeup, my overall impression of this brush is it's actually really good. Like, I wasn't expecting much of it because it was so cheap, but it was honestly really good. Like, it did my foundation really well, it did my concealer really well, and it did like my cream contouring really well, which I was so impressed by. The only downside that I think to this brush is that it is quite small, so if you're kind of doing your whole face of foundation, it will take quite a while, so what I think I will do with this is just 
save it for doing concealer and cream contour. I definitely recommend that if you are thinking about kind of getting a new makeup brush or if you're kind of into makeup and you want to try something new, I would definitely recommend checking this out because I think it's really good. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be really awesome. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this brush and if you're going to get it or whatever. And if you aren't already subscribed to me, it would be amazing if you guys would subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!